Hi, this is Tom and Ann from 2K Aquatics. And I'm outside in the backyard, uh, side yard, uh, looking at some of my handiwork here. Some of the zinnias are, that I planted for Annie are finally starting to bloom. I've got them in here really, really thick. Largely because I want to see a lot of colors, different colors, and I'll be collecting all these seeds. I'll be collecting all the seeds from these plants this fall. And so I don't ever have to buy seeds again. Hey, puppy. You come out and see me? Hey. You good boy. Yeah, there's lots of flowers coming up. And uh, that's going well according to plan. Like I said, I'll have tons and tons of seeds next year. And I won't have to buy them again. You being a good boy. And uh, the elderberries are all flowered now. I might make some tea out of you. I guess they taste like lemon when you make tea out of these flowers. But uh, there are so many blooms on them that they're literally weighing the branches down quite a bit. So I got to climb underneath this elderberry tunnel here. But um, I'm going to be making some wine later out of the berries and over to the tomatoes you got lots of tomatoes coming in lots tons of cherry tomatoes different varieties i gotta come out here today and tie these tomato plants up prune some suckers it seems like every other day i'm doing that but that's a good problem to have the neighbor wasn't using this little kiddie pool so i planted it full of uh dwarf sunflowers and uh, all the peppers everything's doing good I'm going to be making stuffed peppers here soon and uh, yeah those are all doing well the purple ones you can see uh, right through there I've been doing a lot of scraping on the paint I'm getting ready to paint the house and my spices and herbs are coming along good still up here and uh, all the rest of the flowers are doing good they're all coming up i have made some changes or change of plans on my pond here um this duckweed this duckweed in this 125 gallon pond i brought that on out from my a 75 gallon tank there's lots of duckweed in here growing and uh i'm still soaking this driftwood this is releasing a lot of tannins into the water so i'm gonna keep this driftwood in here for a couple of weeks and change the water out i don't mind some tannins and tannins in here at all but i don't definitely don't want it this dark and uh so I'm coming out here and flipping this over. I'm gonna, this one's almost sunk. I always looked at this one kind of like in the bowl shape that it has. But um, once I got it in here and flipped it over, this is gonna make a really nice size cave. And I put some, about 20 or more ram's horn snails in here. You see one here on this driftwood. I put them in the other day. Um, I collected them out of my 75 gallon tank as well. And uh, they're doing good in here. They're all over the place on these rocks and stuff. And uh, before I even get fishing here, this this little pond has turned into a, quite the mosquito factory. I noticed the other day, just millions and millions of Mosquito larva was in this water. And I was thinking, man, I don't want to terrorize the neighborhood and uh, terrorize my wife and myself when we come out and have our evening smoke or whatever. So I've got some, they're called mosquito dunks. Uh, they're little discs that you throw in and it kills off all the mosquito larva. 
and it's doing a pretty good job. I mean, they were really, really thick in here, thick as thieves in this water. And I'm not, I'm still seeing some, but not anywhere near what I was uh, just yesterday. So it's working well. Once I get fish in here, I'm not really worried at all about the any insect larvae because they would just eat them. So, yeah, let this driftwood get completely waterlogged. So I might have to set some rocks on top of it for a couple of days. And uh, I'll be getting some water out of here, putting fresh water in. So uh, the dark tannins will will dissipate and um, I'm stacking a lot of these rocks from over here around the outside of it once I get those completely done I'm gonna pack it full of dirt and then I can grow some plants around the outer edge of this um, and there's some reed plants like dwarf cottontail some different types of uh, winter proof or cold loving water lilies i guess there's a species of those out there and uh yeah, i was making a video of my 75 gallon tank i'm taking all the red plants out of it and um, mentioned putting in some different plants maybe a lily but i got it kind of mixed up with um, Lotus uh, one of the youtubers that I watch a lot of has Lotus plants and I misquote them as being water lilies but anyway yeah I'm gonna be um, putting some reeds in here possibly and uh, some um, irises I guess irises do really well uh, in water and I could have a floating basket type thing going on in here with irises or other plants so that's the plan and then I had planned on putting Japanese rice fish in this pond and the Japanese rice fish I want to get are going to be coming from Japan and they're going to be in the form of eggs I'm not buying live fish online I want the more rare colors uh, that are available. And the only way you can really get those is by ordering the eggs from Japan. And I've been doing a lot of research on Japanese rice fish uh, surviving a winter, like here in New York. And um, they evidently need to be at least three-fourths of an inch long before uh, you make any attempt to keep them outdoors in a pond that's going to freeze or get below freezing so there's been a change of plans on that i still plan on getting japanese rice fish but i'm gonna be uh hatching the eggs inside and i'm gonna keep them in aquariums indoors until uh they get closer to an inch long and then i will put them in a second pond right over here annie's already figured that out when she saw the space she knew another pond's coming and uh this one i'm going to be putting panfish in uh sunfish bluegills pumpkin sea other little sunfish Look at this snail here up at top um yeah i'm going to be putting sunfish and other minnows some crayfish uh, stuff like that that i catch locally out of ponds and uh, lakes around here just really small ones just a few inches long i think maybe a dozen at the most maybe a dozen at the most in here i mean it's got a bigger footprint than a 125 gallon aquarium that's for sure and uh i think that'll go well in here i don't i can't imagine they'd have any trouble in here over the winter i can come out here and break the ice off the top the other change I'm going to make is I would want to run this off of solar, solar power, but I've been doing a lot of looking online and I really haven't found a solar water pump 
that's going to be turning this thing over, you know, two to three times an hour. Isn't there, they're just, uh, I'm not seeing that. So I, that I can easily run power out here, power from the house to the shed, from the shed out here and get a, um, a pond pump and more than likely do my own uh, form of do-it-yourself filtration that'd be over in this area i'll build my own filter i have lots of filtration uh, filter media in the house that i can use for that and uh, extract the water from here with the pump up into the filter and then back in down through probably some of these stones here that i use to make a little waterfall over here in this corner to spill back into uh, the pond. And um, since I gotta get a bunch of water out of here to get the tannins out, I'm gonna prop this side up here a little bit more so it's a little more even. There's a few inches up there on that side and this one's right up to the edge over here. So it's just a little uneven. Um, uh, I'm going to make another video later about a product I have that I think is important and um, I'll keep you updated on this pond here. Should be up and running in a couple of weeks and have fish in it. Um, the slate steps I got to put in are getting more stable. That's good. My other tomato plants are doing good. And this big flower bed here, uh, it's getting ready to bloom out. Some of the flowers are starting to bloom just a little bit. And you can see a pollinator there coming to it already. So that's the plan. Tons of flowers, tons of pollinators, fish pond. Spices, herbs, vegetables, and helper <laughs> and my helper monkey. And he's been a great big help there. And all she stacked all these bricks over here we got for sale. And uh, she got me these nice lilies over there that I planted the other day. And there were a ton of worms, just a ton of worms in that area. So. Uh, I can easily just grab some worms out of there for fish food for the pond. My grandpa taught me how to be a little worm whisperer. Just pound uh, I get a few feet of a broomstick into the ground and rub a flat board across the top of it, make a lot of vibration. And the worms just come up out of the ground everywhere. So that, and insects have been landing in that pond. I can't wait to see little bluegill or panfish bust top of that water and grab a, a fly or a, whatever lands in there. So that's the plan for the outside. Um, Japanese rice fish should come later. And this is going to be a little panfish pond. So I hope everybody has a great day. I'll be making another video or two later today. Hopefully... I'm still in a major, massive amount of pain. Um, some days I can barely walk. I, I destroyed my lower back and took some days off and then re-injured it, doing all this stuff out here. And uh, it's really hard to get motivated when I'm in this much pain constantly. And I don't use pills or narcotics, so um, I just kind of have to deal with it. So thanks for all the wonderful comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope everybody has a great day. And uh, we'll keep you updated on the pond as I make progress. Thanks and bye.